this, this is the really old guy with the mustache. It's hard not to notice when you're here with all the kids and, and not kids who are asking for autographs that you take a lot of time, you ask a lot of these kids, you know, do they play hockey? What position do they play? Are they, are they polite to their teachers? That sort of thing. Whereas you could just sign an autograph and they'd be happy, but you really engage with them. Why do you do that? Well, I think you need to make a connection with the kids, and, and if you take two extra seconds, it doesn't cost you anything, uh, but there, there's that automatic connection, and they'll end up being fans, I don't care if they're fans of mine, but fans of the game and, and fans of players for life. And uh, I think it's important, uh, whether you rub their head and call them blondie, or ask them how school is, or do you like your teacher, uh, then they can go home and they'll tell their friends and their friends and and that's how you build the next generation. I guess the biggest thing is they took the time to come and watch. You know, some idols may be back in the day and, and yet still hold us in a high regard in the sense that we were just hockey players, but uh, I like to spend time. If they've got the questions to ask, I love to answer them. So, uh, and if there's one thing I do know is these people have paid my way for a lot of years and, and uh, it's just giving back. It's also not hard to notice that when you go up and look at all the jerseys that have been signed, your autograph is looks like you you teach penmanship for a living. So, but why do you take the time to make sure that your your autograph is legible like that? You join the Montreal Canadiens organization. You sit down right off the hop. You sign 5,000 items one week. You sign 5,000 items the next week, and you look at those items. And there's one, always one name that stood out to me, and it was J E A N Belleville, and it was legible the whole thing was legible and and Guy Lafleur it was all legible Steve Shutt was legible Bob Ganey these guys were they they took the time my father said a couple things uh, to me when I left uh, to play hockey he said uh, two very important things he said remember when it's all over and done with all you have left is family and then he said something very uh, astute uh, he said Make sure when you sign your name, you sign it so they can read it. You should be proud of your name. And I have never forgotten that.